One thing you'll definitely be carrying around your entire South Korean adventure is your camera. And a word of advice, make sure the batteries are well charged and you download all those fabulous photos daily. I've done exactly that because I'm heading off to photogenic Mount Maysan. Located east of Jeonju City in South Korea's Cholabukdu province, it's easy to reach Maysan by bus on a day trip via the small town of Jinan. The park is within easy walking distance of Jinan's bus terminal, but most opt for taking a taxi. The pine-clad mountains seem to get better and better, and the twin peaks that dominate this park are a curiosity. Mount Maysan is called Horse Ear Mountain because the peaks are split, creating the appearance, from a distance, of two horse ears. Not only are the peaks interesting aesthetically, but also geologically. Unlike the rest of the Korean peninsula, which is pretty well dominated by igneous rock strata, Mount Maysan is made of conglomerate rock, which looks like rocks and pebbles in hardened cement and gives the area that lost world feel. This region has been a revered and much visited location for highborn and commoners through Korea's many royal dynasties, including the Silla and Joseon, over the millennia. Further down the mountain is the highly popular temple of Tapsa, Mason's real gem, which sits in a surreal clasp of stacked rocks. These near hundred strong towers were the work of one monk, Yi Katmyeong, who apparently used no adhesive in their construction. These mortarless pagodas were erected in the early 1900s as his symbolic personal prayers for peace. These diverse stone structures are incredibly stable. The monks here tell me that even during the fiercest storms, they neither sway nor move, simply adding to the mysterious nature of this area. Every path leads to somewhere special here, and the prayers being broadcast indicates that this is a very holy spot. And the Susa Temple, the base of these imposing monoliths, has been a place of prayer and worship for over a thousand years, and you still get a sense of that spirituality now. It's very special. Mount Maysan is a great place to spend some time walking the trails up and over the horsehair peaks. There are plenty of restaurants to get a meal and, if you want to watch the sunrise, there's even accommodation.